sip it cold in the nose, please Cause nobody around her know me, I'm so low-key She say that she missed her old me, cause she lonely But it ain't my fault I just launched the channel back up and everything and I promised you guys I'd be uploading very frequently and I held up on that promise for about a month <laughs> I think I've only uploaded four videos five videos or so in the past two three months but you know I want to go ahead and before I actually get to the meat of this video I want to thank all 580 of you all for subscribing and I just want to say I love you to all of my recent followers on Instagram. You know, I just launched it finally. You know, now that I actually have a plan for what I want to do on social media. So, you know, if you guys are interested in following that Instagram link, it'll be in the comments below as per usual. But, you know, now, you know, most of you guys don't really know the real side of me you guys only see that out loud and this video is gonna be very unfiltered I understand that for you guys subscribe to me and that you guys who view my channel and also for everyone who actually knows me personally you know I'm gonna actually take my skin off for a little bit okay so I just want to start things off by saying that living in a small town sucks and many people won't agree you know, I know lots of people here, they usually say that a small town is good because, you know, it's peaceful, it's quiet and everything. And let me tell you, no one over the age of 20 years old is saying that. You know, I just turned 21, you know, two, three months ago. You know, it bothers me because I am full of creativity. Everyone who knows me can attest to that. And with my creativity, I've been inspiring people all over, you know, I've had multiple Discord servers, I have multiple Skype groups and, you know, Snap and Instagram groups and pretty much everyone sees me as a diamond of charisma, you know, unbreakable, shiny, you know, the whole nine and it bothers me so much because this town I live in like it is insane. Now, to get this clear, this is my hometown. I've been living here for more than five, six years. You know, things like that. You know, I've lived here a bit when I was actually like born. And I moved out of the States for a little bit, other cities in Florida, things like that. But this town in particular, it just kills me because literally right now, I have more views in all than there are people in this town, you know. Now the town I do live in is called Clouston, Florida, and I tell you, don't ever come here. Like, ever. Whatever you do, don't ever come here. It's a waste of gas, like, it's it's awful. And, you know, I know I'm gonna offend a lot of people that live here by saying that, but that's just the nature of it is. We live in 2019, but this town feels like I'm just like stuck in like a time paradox or something. It feels like it's like literally 2005 like, here, you know? And, with that being said, just to give you guys a little insight on where I'm coming from on this point is I purchased a camera recently. I, you know, finally decided to get back on the YouTube scene. But with that being said, this town isn't ready for it. And I'm not gonna let that stop me. Man, it's so annoying. But pretty much where I'm coming from on this is that I've recently taken an interest in the filmmaking, but this town, like, it's very old fashioned. You know, it's very old fashioned. And it kills me because it's like people need to get with the times, right? Now, like I said, I hadn't been uploading as much. And the reason B is that usually when I'm with my camera in certain locations, you know, and I usually stay in the public eye, you know. Everyone knows me here, you know. Everyone can be like, okay, I'm a good person, whatever. But for the people that don't, when I'm out and about with my camera, actually recording footage, doing basic photography or anything, and you know, I get all these like evil eyes and it, it's been getting annoying, you know, I usually ignore things like that. But the only reason I'm making this video is because like, the other day, I'm just out and about driving around the town and 
you know, I'm out testing the composition of my camera. Now, I understand it was late, I'd say approximately like 9, 20 p.m. or something, but that's the issue about the town because in this town, the only things that are open at 9 o'clock are literally like Walmart, and that's it. You know, we have a couple of fast food restaurants, but like only McDonald's stays open, and you know, I don't want obesity, so I'm gonna stay away from that. But at the same time, you know, when I was stopped, they were like, oh, what are you doing, yada yada. Now keep in mind that I didn't get pulled over. What happened was I was filming with my crew earlier, a couple of friends, and I noticed about two or three officers, you know, just encircling the park, whatever. You know, my friends, they went to go continue on with their day. I stayed out filming on my day, whatever, you know. I decided like I have to commit to that type of thing. And pretty much I'm driving out about 30, 40 minutes later, and I notice one officer like sees me. It's like an anime, you know, we just pass each other. And once we pass each other, I just see him turn all the way around, and I'm like, yo. So I just kind of like park, you know, I'm getting my license and registration. You know, keep in mind that he passed me as I park. So, you know, I'll look and I see him. He's kind of tucked in a little, like, uh, a little divot right under where our park is. And pretty much I have my license registration out, whatever, I just have it sitting in the uh, passenger seat because I understand that like, I'm, I'm like, he's gonna pull me over, definitely. But, you know, I pass him, get past my little local library and everything. And next thing you know, he's just falling behind me. And I'm like, okay, let me start slowing down maybe. Maybe he's gonna pull me. But, lo and behold, he doesn't pull me over. And he followed me for, I'd say about three quarters of a mile easily. And it was so annoying because I was like, man, you know, I'm just trying to get more footage. You know, I'm putting together a small short film project, you know, just like a local inspirational thing. And, you know, he's just following me and I'm like, yo, what does this guy want? And so I rolled down my window in the driver's seat and, you know, I kind of look out and kind of point to him. I'm like, hey, I'm gonna pull it right there. So I'll pull in there. He pulls in, I get out of the car, and he's like, oh, what are you doing? You know, I put my hands up as per usual. I'm like, uh, you know, I don't want to have a bad night. But, you know, I'm like, oh, well, you know, I'm a filmmaker. I make YouTube videos, things of that nature. And keep in mind that everyone kind of knows me here. So when he ran my life, I'm pretty sure he's heard my name before. You know, this is a very, very tight knit community. And the only reason I felt like he stopped me is because, or the reason I felt like he was even interested in me even being out and about, because like I said, in this town, at nine o'clock, everything is like shut down. I don't know like what business model that is or anything, but you know, after I tell him that I'm a filmmaker and I do small videos, you know, I show him my tripod and everything, that way I can add a little flavor to the story. And he was like, uh, oh, you know, okay, but, I'm not saying what you're doing is wrong, but we've had a lot of break-ins recently. And when he said that, I was like, you know, I, I hadn't heard about a break-in in the paper or anything, but I assumed that was just some kind of excuse he fabricated. That way he could kind of have substance to his interest and see what I was up to or whatever. But that little story right there just goes to show how backwards this town is. Now. I've been traveling out to Orlando and Miami every once in a while whenever I'm actually off work. That way I can actually get some city people to help me in my endeavors and my projects because, you know, I have a lot of friends in this town that I love to death, but at the same time, they've lived in this town a bit longer than I have, so pretty much the town has its control on them in different forms. So whenever I go into a store, well not even a store, just any type of business, you know, I have my camera bag or something, you know, they usually stay like 50 feet away from me as if they're embarrassed, and I'm like, yo, if you want to help me in this video or if you want to help be a part of the team, you have to commit. You know, anywhere else, Disney, the beach, a skate park, wherever you want to go, as long as it's not in this town, you know, ca uh, cameras are commonplace. And the fact that this town has everyone living behind the time, it just, it drives me insane because I have a vision for myself and right now this town is just like the smoke in the mirror, you know? I gotta kinda ignore it and keep moving. But it does, it's just been bothering me because I've been in a creative slump recently. 
you know, and, you know, I, I think I'm finally getting out of it. You know, I realize that it's not about them and it's not about me, but it's about you guys. You know, I want to make an impact in someone's life. I want to keep pumping content because I'm really good at it. You know, I just want to keep doing what makes me happy and I want people to keep doing what makes them happy. So like, pretty much what I'm getting at is if the majority vote is against you, like, just push a little bit harder. I mean, I know it's kind of hard when you're all alone, but you know, I have a vision for myself. You guys are gonna be on this journey with me. You guys are gonna see me grow and you know, I'm 10 followers, subscribers, and hopefully within the months I pass, you know, I'll become a better content creator. You know, I've been inspired by lots of YouTubers already. My friend Justine and Pia, and I'll leave their channels in the link below if you want to be interested in them. But you know, pretty much, that's all I had to say. I mean, this was a rant, but like, I feel like these things had to come off of my chest before I can move forward on YouTube. But rather than that, that pretty much sums it all up. I thank all you guys for watching the video. And if you're new, just go ahead and check the channel because there's gonna be a lot more to come, you know. Sorry that the mood of this video was a little more serious than I usually am, but like, I, I really had to get this off, but you know. Everyone, have a good rest of the day. Keep moving forward. Don't let anyone hold you back and peace out. <laughs>